I'm here today because I felt that I must come forward because I do not want to see another 787. I do not want to see 787 or 777 crash when the planes were assembled. Boeing manufacturing used unmeasured in a rush to address the, its bottlenecks in production. Boeing hit problems pushing pieces together with excessive force to make him appear that the gaps don't exist. I found gaps exceeding the specification that were not properly addressed 98.7% of the time. I want to repeat that. 98.7% of the time, the gaps that they were supposed to be shimmed, they were not shimmed. Threats or anything else, be, that's because of that people haven't come forward. I literally saw people jumping on the pieces of the airplane to get them to align. I call it the Tarzan effect, among other improper methods. Again, I raised concerns internally. I was sidelined. I was told to shut up. I received physical threats. My, 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 my boss said, I would have killed someone who said what you said in a meeting. This potentially catastrophic condition. There are also Canadian reports of new Max airplanes. I'm here today to share four key messages. First, the manufacturing conditions that led to the taken off by a bird. They had no evidence for that, none whatsoever. I've done everything I can to continue telling the world the Max airplane is still unsafe and to alert authorities to Boeing's dangerous manufacturing. Gradually, from the persistent and successful. The NTSB is investigating the factory now. However, the reality is the NTSB is overly dependent on Boeing and the FAA to provide technical assistance in their accident investigations. They are not an independent investigative authority. There is an inherent conflict of interest. The Department of Transportation has been completely useless in helping the FAA do their jobs. They have continued to take a hands-off approach to this entire matter. Uh, in, into this report, and I'd like to focus my question in two major joints of the 787. Evaluating from Boeing, from the end of the time, the gaps that they were supposed to be shimmed, they were not shimmed.